I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories happening tonight. Family and friends and people from all across the state will gather to remember the life and legacy of coach Alan Trimble. The former Jenks football coach died on Sunday after a long battle with ALS. Tonight, a celebration of life service will be held at 630 at the Maybe Center at 81st and South Lewis. You'll need to enter through the north lobby doors. It's open to the public and you don't need a ticket. Seating is first come, first served. Several thousand seats will be available and additional sections of the arena will be opened for overflow seating. If you can't attend the service tonight, we will be streaming it live on our website and the free Two Works For You app. Well, new and unwanted changes could be coming to Tulsa Public Schools next school year. Amid future budget cuts, four elementary schools could be forced to close, affecting hundreds of families, teachers and staff. The schools that could close are Wright Elementary, Grimes, Jones and Mark Twain Elementaries. The kids attending Grimes, Jones and Wright would move to other nearby schools, while the students at Mark Twain would consolidate with Wayman Tisdale Fine Arts Academy. These recommendations will be made to the school board coming up in January. And the impeachment inquiry is moving forward. Today is a pivotal day for President Trump with the impeachment inquiry, which is now in the hands of the Judiciary Committee. Hearings began early this morning with Democrats making their case that President Trump deserves impeachment. The House Judiciary Committee taking the reins of the impeachment inquiry, laying the constitutional groundwork for impeaching the president. And let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you very much, Aaron. Unseasonably warm weather continues for us today, expecting high temperatures in the mid 60s with a very light southwest wind. Looking at your forecast for Thursday, more clouds and even chances for showers, I think late tomorrow night. But before the rain moves in, mid 60s, colder for Friday, blustery north winds, 40s, and then a warm up for the weekend. 50s Saturday, 60s for Sunday, and then we see colder air move back in by next Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you, Clint. That was a look at our digital update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.